Welcome to ECLIMO Learning Simplified and welcome to our new topic, Measurement 2. This is a continuation of a topic that we discussed in Form 1, that was Measurement 1. In Measurement 1, we discussed physical quantities and we categorized them into two, that is basic quantities and derived quantities. In basic quantities, one of the basic quantities that we discussed was length, which is measured using a meter rule and its SI unit was meter. We also discussed other instruments that can be used to measure length and we said we have tape measures. Under tape measures, we have terrace step measure, carpenter step measure or a surveyor step measure. However, we realized that the lengths that those instruments can be used to measure should be significantly larger than a millimeter for those instruments to measure them accurately. We did not discuss how we can measure relatively smaller lengths less than a millimeter. Now in this lesson and in this topic, we are going to discuss two instruments which can be used to measure lengths which are less than a millimeter, that is a vernier calipers and a micrometer screw gauge. In this lesson, we are going to discuss a vernier calipers and then the next lesson and the rest of the topic will discuss a micrometer screw gauge. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy this lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe the features or the parts of Avania calipers and also describe how you can use Avania calipers to make measurements of different dimensions. So we are going to begin with the vernier calipers and what we are going to realize is that this instrument can be used to measure both the internal and external diameters of a hollow cylindrical substances like a beaker or even test tubes. It can also be used to measure the diameter of spherical substances like marbles. So this instrument has five important Parts, and the first part is the inside jaws. The inside jaws, as you can see them up here, they can be used to measure the internal diameter of a beaker, where if you want to know the internal diameter, you just insert a beaker in upside down in this outside jaws, inside jaws, I mean. And then you adjust these sliding jaws until they touch the inner wall. Then now you will remove your beaker and read the scale. Then the second important part of this instrument is the outside jaws uh, down here. These outside jaws, they can be used to measure the external diameter of a substance like a spherical ball. Then we have the third important part of this instrument as the main scale, where we're going to read the main scale of the substance that we are measuring. Then we also have the fourth important part as the vernier scale. So this instrument has two scales. And then finally, number five, we have the sliding jaw. This part here, which can slide over this main scale. So this is what we call the sliding jaws. We're going to see how we can use the two scales to measure or to read the dimension of the instrument that we want to measure. So this instrument has two scales, just like you have seen. And the first scale is the main scale. A main scale is contained on a fixed steel flame and it's graduated in centimeters. This is very important for you to note, but also it has a millimeter division. So between the main scale where we have one centimeter, let's say from one to two, in between here this one centimeter, then in between these, we have other 10 subdivisions, which will represent one millimeter since one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So one division, one division in this one or in this main scale is equal to one millimeter. Then we have another scale on this instrument, which we call the vernier scale and it's contained on the sliding jaw. So this vernier scale is contained on the movable part of this instrument, which we call the sliding jaw, and it has 10 equal divisions. 
and we are going to discuss what each division represent in the next part. So just like any other measuring instrument, Avania calipers has its own accuracy. Remember, we defined accuracy as the smallest value that one can read directly from a measuring instrument. In a meter rule, we said the accuracy is one millimeter since a millimeter is the smallest division that we can read directly from a meter rule scale. Now, in these vernier calipers, we have two scales. And in the main scale, we realize that one division on the main scale, main scale, one division will represent one millimeter, which is equal to 0 0.1 centimeters. This is in the main scale. Then now on the vernier scale, on the vernier scale, that is the second scale that we have here, on the vernier scale, what we are going to realize is that the 10 divisions which are there on the vernier scale represents all are equivalent to 0 0.9 centimeters. Now, if we want to know the one division, what is the distance for one division, then it's going to be one division times 0 0.9 centimeter divided by 10 division. Division will cancel with the division and then we will remain with 0.0. .0 9 centimeter. So for a vernier scale, the smallest value that you can read directly, if you read one division on the vernier scale, you are going to read 0 0.09 centimeter. And if you read the main scale, one division, you are going to read 0 0.1 centimeter. Now, for us to get accuracy of this instrument, then we are going to get the difference between the smallest value on the main scale and the smallest value we can read on the vernier scale. So in this case, what we are going to get is called the least count. Least count is the same as the accuracy. Least count in this instrument is going to be the smallest division on the main scale, that is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 centimeter. Then we subtract the smallest value on the vernier scale. In this case, we have determined the one division on the vernier scale represent 0 0.09 centimeter. Then what you are going to get as our least count will be 0 0.01 centimeter. So this is the smallest value that you can read directly from a vernier scale. And this is what we call the accuracy of a vernier scale. And therefore, from now henceforth, whenever you are reading your vernier scale, what you read on the vernier scale what you read on your the, your vernier scale you must multiply it with the accuracy of the vernier calipers for example if you read two divisions on the vernier scale then you multiply it by 0 0.01 centimeter which is going to give you 0 0.02 centimeter so if you read a vernier scale uh, of a vernier calipers then you must multiply with this value of the accuracy of Avania calipers. Another important thing this, uh, this um, accuracy communicates is that any measurements that you take using Avania calipers must be in two decimal points because the, this, the, 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 the decimal points takes that one of the accuracy of that instrument. Now we can look at how to use this instrument to make measurements. And then we will discuss several examples later. So for you to make measurements using this instrument, then you place the object whose diameter you want to measure or length inside the jaws of this uh, instrument. Like if you want to measure the outside diameter, like in this case, we have a spherical ball, then you will place it in this outside jaws. Then if you want to measure the inside diameter, like the inner uh, diameter of a beaker, then you will place it in this uh, inside jaws. Then now what you do, you will close the moving jaws. This is the moving jaw, this one, the moving jaw. You will close it or move it until it, they grip the object, until they grip the object. And then now what you do, you will read the main scale. And I want us to read this main scale together. So the main scale 
for you to read the main scale, you read a value which is opposite and to the left of the zero mark of the vernier scale. So for you to read this one, first you need to identify where the zero mark of the vernier scale is. In this case, the zero mark of the vernier scale is here. I've marked it with blue. And now you go up to the main scale. Then you read a value which is on the left behind it. So in this case, we are going to make this reading here. That is the reading that we are going to measure. So you look at the zero mark of the vernier scale, and then on the main scale, you read the value which is exactly opposite and the left of the zero mark of the vernier scale. So in this case, it is this value there. And what does it read? It reads 2.123. So where that mark is, is 2.3. So here we just record it 2.3 centimeter. Then now, you now read the vernier scale. And for you to read the vernier scale, you read the mark that coincide, that coincide exactly with the main scale mark. And then you multiply that with the least count. Remember the least count that we have just discussed of this instrument is 0 0.01 centimeter. So what you are going to read on the vernier scale, you are going to multiply it with the least count. But now how do you read it? Then you read the mark on this vernier scale, which coincide. Coincide means it, is, it will form a straight line from the main scale to the vernier scale. Like in this case, if I can draw a very small illustration here, when we talk about coinciding, if this is the line which divides the main scale and the vernier scale, then you will read a value which forms a single line like that on both uh, scales. So in this case, let's look at this together. Now, here in the zero of this vernier scale, they don't coincide. One, they don't form a, a common line. Two, they don't coincide. Three, they don't coincide. But now look at four. At four here, it forms like a single line from up to the vernier scale scale. So in this case, they coincide at four. So then you record here, vernier scale is equal to four. But we have said you multiply it with the least count, four times zero point. 0 0.01 centimeter, then it's going to give us a uh, 0 0.04 centimeters. Then now the, the, the total reading, all the, the, the total reading of this, all the diameter of this object will be diameter. Diameter now will be the sum. You add the two scales. You sum the main scale and the vernier scale, and then you are going to get the diameter. So in this case, the diameter is going to be 2.3 centimeter plus 0 0.04 centimeter. Then it's going to give us uh, 2.34 centimeter. So in this case, the diameter of this object that we were measuring is 2.34 centimeter. How do you measure it? What you do, you take or you read, you, you take the object, you put it inside the jaws that you want to measure. Then now you, to read the main scale, you read a value that is uh, opposite and to the left of the zero mark of the vernier scale. So you stand at the vernier scale, you go up on the left side, you read the main scale. It's in centimeters. Then now the vernier scale, you also read it as the value that coincides exactly with the main scale. So you look at the vernier scale where there is a complete line from up from the main scale to the vernier scale, then that one, that's where the coincidence is. And you read the first coincidence. Sometimes they can coincide ahead, but in this case, you read where they coincide first. So in this case, they coincide at the fourth division of the vernier scale. Then now what you do, you multiply with the accuracy of the vernier scale with that is 0 0.01 centimeter. And then now you add the two, you add the main scale reading and the vernier scale reading, and then you will get your answer as 2.34 centimeter. And in this case, as you can see, the answer has taken two decimal points, just like the accuracy, which has two decimal points. So that marks the end of this lesson. 
in the next lesson we will do several examples on reading avania calipers